Hi, I'm Amanda. <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan. <laughs> I'm Sean. I'm James. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about the movie we watched a couple weeks ago called Please Vote For Me. And the movie Chinese Schools. I'll start. So, and Please Vote For Me was about three students um, in secondary education. And they were running for a class monitor. Um, as you could see, their parents were very involved in it, actually more involved than the students themselves. Um, even the girl, she was very shy, yet her mother was pushing for her to try and become class monitor, even though you could see she didn't have much ambition towards becoming it. Um, the two kids that were going against each other, they didn't really see it as becoming class monitor as like a honor. They just kind of more wanted control over the classroom. And you could just see how their parents you now interacted with all of that. And, like, one of the boys, I feel like he was a better, or would have been a better class monitor. And it was actually the one that won, like, Lou. And you could see that he actually had an understanding for the people in the class. And the other boy kind of just wanted to backstab the other two and, like, harm them in any way they could, that he could to win the very class, mo yeah, class monitor position. We just found it very interesting that their parents were more or less scripting their speeches and telling them everything that they should say, everything that they should do, and giving them uh, incentives for the other students, whether it was the trip that that one um, candidate took everybody on, or the, um, was it a present he gave them right before they right voted? Right the um, But we just wanted to focus on how the parents were so, what's the word? Involved. Involved and pushy with their kids. Yeah, they really egged their uh, kids on in the election and campaigning. Yeah, and I feel like the parents wanted to win the election more than the actual kids did. And they, they, ma they made it seem like the children understood more of what they were doing than they did. Like Yes. Mm -hmm. It's just, it seemed like the democracy aspect of it was not there. They just wanted to win and have control, which is the complete opposite of a democracy. For kids yeah. either seven, eight years old, that should not be happening. Yeah. yeah. It's not so much that they really cared about being a class monitor. They really just wanted the title of it and the fame. And the control. And then I guess we can move to the second movie, which was called <coughs> Chinese School. And this is where it had three different stories in it. And the first story was like about a girl who had to take a really big test to get into the college. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it was actually about the whole class and the whole school. That but was she was like the smartest, the yes, brightest star. She came in the highest in the town and the highest in the school ever. In the province, wasn't it? Yeah. And we like found out that her mom took off. Like off off of work just to take care of her while she was getting ready for this test, and it was like such a big deal. And then again, we can see how big of a role the parents play in this whole thing. Yeah, when she like got her scores back, um, you could just see the reaction of her mom and the rest of their family, and how they called up everybody. And it wasn't just her that got the score; it was like kind of the whole family. Yeah. That felt like they were rewarded with and if it. The kids didn't receive a good score. The family was just kind of, um, they weren't proud of their child. They knew that it was kind of the end for them because they couldn't get into a school or get a good job. And it was just kind of upsetting to see that. And then on a different aspect, we saw the other boy's dad who like didn't even live with him. He lived with his grandparents, so he wasn't as involved as the other parents. But then the second his son breaks his arm, he was right yeah. there. So that showed a lot. Yeah. And it was really, it was, it kind of hurt to see it, like, when he left, when the father left, how, like, torn the son was because he just wanted to be with his dad. And... Make sure you be thankful. Yeah. Yeah. Work hard. <laughs> <laughs> right, and that's our presentation for both movies.